Basically, we're going to scan anyone with radical quadrant, abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, fever. We know that ultrasound is something that's been increasingly used, especially it's becoming a standard of care in the emergency medicine realm, but we've seen increasing potential applications for it in a primary care realm, and then to go beyond that in a military realm. It's been said that uh, the ultrasound is going to be the stethoscope of the, of the future. Every physician has a stethoscope. It's already making its way into medical school education. Augusta University, it's already incorporated into all four years of medical school. So it's, it's integrated from med school now, so it's definitely going to be, every physician's going to be using it. And we're behind the times if we're not ready for that. So you see the portal vein, and then you see the gallbladder. So what we're having today is a joint uh, ultrasound conference with uh, Augusta University Emergency Medicine and Family Medicine programs. And then we've combined that in with the Dwight D. Eisenhower uh, Army Medical Center, their family medicine group as well. We had sought to develop a curriculum for the family medicine residency at Eisenhower and reached out to the local resources here who run the ultrasound fellowship at Augusta University and asked for guidance and they essentially said not only can we give you guidance but how about we do this whole course for you and we'll go through the highest yield ultrasound scans that would apply to military physicians primary care and and others uh, and we said yes that would be that would be wonderful if you measure the gallbladder wall in short axis you'll never be wrong. So what we're learning today is point of care ultrasound. Basically using ultrasound at the bedside to help augment your physical exam and uh, better your diagnostic uh, skills and uh, help better the care for your patient. Look how pretty his picture is, see? It's very easy to imagine a situation where you're far away from a definitive medical care in a deployed setting and you have to make you know, diagnoses and disposition determinations about patients uh, soldiers or contractors or otherwise and determine whether or not you need to call in a helicopter to medevac that patient or call a convoy to help medevac that patient to a definitive care. And ultrasound is an outstanding tool to see in real time, to look inside of the body and help us figure out what's going on, if something is going on at all. Notice that when we had it before, it was super crisp. So it, it's become very accessible. Uh, and very easy to use and it's very quick to use. So I think that's what makes it so readily used by a lot of physicians. You don't need a radiology suite. You don't need a CT scanner. You don't need an MRI. You can pack it up in a suitcase. There are pocket ultrasounds that will slip into your lab coat if you needed them to. The portability is, uh, is just can't be matched by any other modality. It's been shown time and time again that procedures are quicker, easier, and safer, uh, and more cost-effective by using ultrasound. So you put all those things together and it's a win-win. It's so we've got the left, the middle, and the right hepatic vein all converging into the IVC here. If I find myself deployed again, I'll make sure that I have an ultrasound with me. And it's easy to make the point to commanders to please help get funding for equipment like this because I can I can help keep soldiers in the fight. What our hope today is that the physicians that are here will go out and, and try to use that ultrasound you know, as best they can. Like I said, not to be ex experts by the end of the day, but to be more familiar with it and more likely to use it and just more comfortable using it. So the ultimate goal then from a military standpoint is that the skills learned here can ultimately save the life of a soldier in a deployed environment.